Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the coolest gold cack that we've ever gotten. We can't wait to talk to you about it. Well, let's get this video started. If you guys remember a few videos back, we ended up sending in a Hawaiian dollar. And we ended up sending in another Hawaiian dollar just to use as a great comparison. See, most of the time with CAC stickering, they end up using a grading set for each type of coin. So that they can see, is this coin better for the grade or does it exceed the grade? And then we'll either green sticker it or gold sticker it. And so we ended up sending in this 1883 Hawaiian dollar VF25 CAC. And we ended up sending in an 1883 Hawaiian dollar VF35 CAC. We ended up saying, man, this VF35 is a little bit weaker in terms of detail um, than the VF25 CAC. And so we ended up saying, hey, can you use this VF35 as a grade comparison for the VF25? And we just want to know if we think it, if you guys think of a gold sticker or not. And so in this video, we're going to show you guys, did that VF25 Hawaiian dollar gold sticker and what other cool things stickered for you guys just to learn from and enjoy. And so we're going to jump into the video right now, show you guys all these great coins. We hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So the first coin I want to show you is this Key Date Barber Quarter. It's an 1896 S graded VG8. It did sticker. Just a perfect amount of originality, perfect amount of wear. And, you know, you want your coins to look like this if you're putting them in your collection. A little bit of dark spot on the reverse, as you can see right on the eagle, but that was my main concern with this coin stickering, but it is a rather low grade, and uh, I'm glad I got the bean. Then we have this 1870cc, rather low mintage seated dollar. It did not pass, unfortunately, and I think the reason is right on kind of the legs there's a, there's a little scratch. It's going from the fields into the leg. And it's a little bit like a fingerprint right underneath the last star on the right. And so that's my main concern when I was sending this coin in. I felt the wear was even. I felt the coin looked rather original. And they just didn't want to sticker it, which is unfortunate. Love the coin either way and excited to offer that to you guys. Then we have this 1919 Standing Liberty Quarter. I felt the luster was there. I felt the strike was there. There was a little bit of haze to the coin if you kind of tilt it down. Yeah, kind of hard to pick up on, but it's kind of like a little bit of, little bit of film or haze underneath the, the luster of the coin. Maybe that was the reason, but this one definitely left me stumped. I felt like it was a great coin for a sticker, and I would love to know what you guys think down below. I do think it's a, a really good coin for the grade, actually. Then we have our first Hawaiian dollar we're going to show you guys in this video, which is an 1883, an AU55+. Plus. It, uh, it's a rather nice coin, but once again, no sticker. I think that maybe they just didn't like the fields and what was going on in the fields. To me, they just look like circulation, and uh, the luster is still nice remaining, and it's really tough to find coins like this, especially in AU, and so we ended up buying this one from the customer before we ended up filming this video, so definitely excited to show you guys more photos on our website, AcousticCollectibles.com. So right now we're we're uh, one for four, but we're, we're getting there. I'm showing you all the bad ones first. This is a 1901S. Ready to find 15. There's a few kind of nicks on, uh, you know, on the rim of the coin. It's a really tough date. And maybe that's the reason why they didn't like it. You can see those nicks coming down on the, uh, on the reverse as well. The coin has great detail, but maybe there's just those rim bumps that they just didn't like. And uh, still a fantastic coin. Then we have this 1870 seated quarter. Ready to proof 61. To me, it felt like the surfaces were altered, which is what I said in the last video, and I don't think that's why they like the coin. And uh, still a nice looking reverse, just not super excited about the obverse, but that's okay. Then we have this 1848 Charlotte gold piece. This one we sent in for uh, one of our customers. It's created VG8. It did sticker. I didn't see anything distracting or any issues on this coin whatsoever to be able to hold it back. Honestly, I felt like the coin was original and had nice wear, 
Sometimes Charlottes look really clean and unattractive, but this one I felt really had a strong chance and it came back with the sticker, which is pretty cool. Then we have a coin we, we asked for a gold sticker on for a customer. This is 1886 proof Morgan dollar grade, proof 62 cameo. To me, I felt like the polish lines or hairlines, whatever they want to call them in the fields, uh, held this coin back from it being any better in terms of a gold sticker. Um, if I kind of put the light on it some, you can see those lines going back and forth in the fields. You really just need to have less of those out there for it to be any higher of a grade. And, uh, you know, when you're sending stuff in, you need to just ask politely, and that's what the customer did. And no good on this one, but that's okay. Then we have another Tough Date Barber Half. This is a 19040. It did sticker. Very tough to find in any grade, especially in VF, XF. And this one has a perfect amount of originality, a perfect amount of wear, luster a little bit in the field still. And I mean, just as some of my friends call it, a baller coin, a baller coin. But got the green bean, very excited about that, adds a few hundred dollars in value. Then we had a kind of a lower end coin. A customer was upset that PCGS graded this one a little bit lower than what he would expect it to be. And he wanted to see if he would get a sticker or a gold sticker, and it didn't come back with a sticker at all. So, ouch, you know. But, you know, it's just not, not the, maybe the most attractive 62, just because of all those hits and nicks in the fields. And uh, it's just kind of beat up. And now, for the grand finale, what you've all been waiting for. So... Like we were talking about, this whole Hawaiian dollar in VF35, we sent in, said, hey, use this as a grading comparison. And we wrote that on the back, hey, use this as a grading comparison for the VF25 CAC because we think the VF25 is better than this coin. And so what did they say? What did they do? Well, they gave us a gold sticker. 1883 Hawaiian dollar VF25 gold sticker in an OGH holder. Wow. 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 Phenomenal day. One of the coolest gold stickers we've ever gotten, but it did take a lot of work, took a lot of energy, and uh, took a lot of time just to look, look, for, uh, look for great coins. And so it says, please can re reconsider for a gold sticker CVF35. So we pointed to each coin saying, hey, use the other one as a comparison. And like I said, to me, this coin has a lot more detail than the VF35. And you could see it, right? You could see the subtle wear on on the on the face. You could see that I don't know. I think that you could see it pretty well. If not, I think, you know, I think this coin is probably a VF35 by today's standards. And uh, I'm just so glad that CAC reconsidered and let us get that gold bean. But thank you guys for taking a look at this CAC submission with us. We really appreciate you guys watching till the end. Well, that wraps up today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on that gold CAC Hawaiian dollar. Super cool. Definitely going to keep it. But uh, make sure to subscribe. Coming out of videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part. And we'll see you guys in the next video.